Hello po sa inyong lahat, Odessa Morales po ang inyong virtual physical therapist. Ngayon po, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano i-exercise o i-stretch ang katawan, ang kamay at paa na isang uh, pasyente na merong cerebral palsy. Ano nga ba yung cerebral palsy? Yung cerebral palsy po na kung saan yung bata ay nanidigas po yung mga kamay at ang kanilang mga paa. So, ngayon po, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gagawin yung mga exercises. Uh, yung mga exercises. So, it's just very simple exercises po yung gagawin natin. So, ngayon, meron akong uh, guest. I have a guest tonight. Her name is Noelani. Alright. Alright. So, Noelani will help me uh, with our exercises today. Okay? First, we're gonna show you the arm exercise for patients natin or sa mga bata anak natin na merong uh, cerebral palsy. I'm still scared. Okay, you I'm lie down. I'm scared to show them okay, my Okay, you lie down, baby. Ngayon, gagawin natin yung exercises para sa kamay. Alright? So, alam po natin pag yung, may, yung pasyente natin na may cerebral palsy o yung anak natin na may cerebral palsy, <laughs> medyo yung tone po o yung kamay nila ay naninigas at naka ganun po ang posisyon. So yung gagawin po natin, uh, gently, gently po ay gagalaw natin yung kanilang mga kamay para po ma-prevent natin yung further spasticity, okay? Uh, Alright, so you just have to hold here on the, on the hand and then on the elbow. And then we just do this exercise. So we just do the flexion. And then... Wee! Huh? Alright. So, ganyan lang po. Medyo, Wee. sa tingin nyo po, uh, very simple lang siya. Kasi, itong pasyente ko walang cerebral palsy. Okay? Pag sa mga pasyente natin na may cerebral palsy, medyo mahirap po pag i-flex at saka i-extend ang kamay. Okay? So, baby, put it down. Ang natin gagawin is... 10 times, 10 repetition for 2 to 3 sets. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so we did it 10 reps and kailangan natin gagawin ito ng 2 to 3 sets. Okay? Uh, Pagpasensya nyo na, medyo magulo lang tong anak ko. Okay? Next naman is, let's do it here. So, baliktad naman. Gagawin naman natin ganitong exercise. Okay? So, tandaan, hawak lagi is dito sa palm and sa elbow. Okay? So, extend. 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ganun din po, gagawin natin ten reps, two to three sets. Alright? Mama. Next po, yung gagawin natin is exercise naman po sa legs ng pasyente. So, lahat po ng uh, extremities, kailangan po natin i-exercise. Okay, baby, can you go up a little bit? Yay! They can't see my face no. anymore. Okay, that's good. They okay. can't see my face anymore! Yes! <laughs> Alright, yes. so oh yung gagawin God. natin, uh, exercise naman sa legs, para makahelp din po uh, sa spasticity ng pasyente natin. So, nakakatulong po ito na mag-improve yung range of motion ng ating pasyente, malesen yung spasticity ng pasyente natin. Okay? Especially po sa mga bata na yung spasticity nila is very mild. So, kailangan po is palagi natin exercise para ma-improve po yung condition. Okay? So, dito po, hawak natin Usually, yung foot ng pasyente natin na may cerebral palsy is naka-extend ng ganito. So, gagawin lang natin, hawakan natin dito sa may ankle part. 
and then dito sa ni naman bebe okay okay now lay down bebe now gagawin natin is ganito lang so medyo pag ginawa po natin to sa pasyente natin na may cerebral palsy medyo mahirap po kasi meron siyang spasticity so kailangan lang po gentle lang po ang ating pagmo-move ganyan okay so one two two Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Okay, po. Ready na tayong gagawin. Ten repetition, two to three sets, po. Then nagigawa na po natin yung exercise natin para sa legs. So, yun po yung mga exercise natin, no? Para sa ating extremities or sa ating mga kamay at paa. So, nakalimutan ko pong sabihin sa inyo kanina na pag ginawa nyo po yung right na kamay, gagawin nyo yung left, of course. Pag ginawa nyo yung right na legs, and gagawin din natin yung left na paa. So, yun po ang ating exercise. Ang importante pa po na exercise ay yung tinatawag natin na plantar flexion stretching. So, ma alam nyo po sa mga, mga anak na may cerebral palsy, cerebral palsy, nakikita nyo yung kanilang paa ay nakaganito. Nakaplantar flex siya. So, kailangan po natin i-stretch yan para mag-prevent po natin yung plantar flexion deformity na tinatawag o yung pagkakaroon na, na nakaganyan na talaga yung paa or naka-extend na yung foot nila permanente. So, kailangan po i-stretch natin sila para po pag uh, ready na sila maglakad, ay hindi po sila mahihirapan. Okay? So, lagay lang po natin yung paa natin. Then, medyo matigas po yun pag i-stretch natin. So, kailangan gentle uh, push lang po siya. Okay? Gentle push. And then, we're gonna try to do this sa beginning po, beginners po or initially, Initially po, kailangan natin i-stress sila ng 6 seconds hold. Pag nagawa na natin ito palagi at medyo meron pang uh, na-feel natin na, mer na pwede pa siyang i-stretch farther, pwede natin siyang gagawin 15 seconds hold hanggang 30 seconds hold. Okay? So, uh, let's try po. So, push natin hanggang sa ma-feel natin na meron pang uh, ma-feel natin yung uh, hanggang doon na lang. So, Ipilit natin konti pero wag po sobrang push po. Kung nafe-feel na may mga uh, parang resistance, so pwede na tayong huminto doon, okay? So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, i-relax natin. Try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, relax po. And then, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yun po. Gawin natin six seconds hold, and then i progress natin fifteen seconds hold hanggang sa thirty seconds hold. Gagawin natin siya pag six seconds hold times ten reps, fifteen seconds hold, pering times ten reps. Pag thirty seconds hold naman, pwede natin gagawin na five second repetition ng pusa. So okay. Now, of course, ginawa natin yung kamay na exercise at paa na exercise. So, kailangan din natin gagawin yung trunk exercise para sa ating mga pasyente na may cerebral palsy. Come on, baby. Move forward here. And then move here. Okay. So, I'm gonna move your, your body, okay? Okay. You have to look towards them. I'm scared. No, you're fine. I'm scared to show my face. Oh, okay. Well, just turn around then. Okay. Go, uh... Face towards me, okay? Okay. No, you have to lie down. Oh, okay. On your side, I mean. Okay. Okay. All right. So move a little bit. So, dito. Shempre po pag yung pasyente natin, ah, tight po yung kanilang ah ah katawan, kasi nga po may cerebral palsy. So yung gagawin po natin, kung saan po alimbawa yung kanyang ah. Kanyang katawan is nakaganito po. Ganito yung curve niya. 
So, yung gagawin po natin is, i-stretch natin pa ganyan. Okay? Okay? So, again po, pag ganyan yung katawan nila, ganyan yung, ah, uh, yung kanyang deformity, so, stretch po natin na palayo na ganito. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then relax. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, relaxed. Gagawin natin ulit. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, hundred. Relax. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, hundred. Relax. So, yan po. Gagawin natin siya. Six seconds hold. Five to ten times. Ten times. Pag uh, medyo nagawa na natin siya for a couple weeks, or isang buwan, at parang feeling natin medyo malambot na siya, gagawin na natin siyang 15 seconds hold times 10 repetition. The same din po sa pag-stretch doon sa paa, pwede natin siyang gagawin 30 seconds hold 5 times or pwede pang 10 times. So, depende po sa, sa strength ng nagta-therapy or sa ating pasyente. Pag hindi masyadong uh, uh, magulo ang pasyente. Okay. Next naman, pwede natin i- Rotate yung katawan pa, ganito. Okay? So, i-rotate natin para ma-stretch natin yung kanilang mga muscles. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 600. 6. And then, always remember lang po, hawak dito sa shoulder at dito sa hip ng pasyente natin. Okay? Then, so, ito siya sa, sa balikat, push pa talikod. Itong sa may hip part naman is forward. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Again. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Okay. Then let's do it another way naman. So, pwede natin ganituhin. Okay? Pero pag yung kanyang... Uh, okay. One more time. So, pwede naman natin uh, ganituhin naman. Okay? What, did I do this one? I think or like so. this? Yeah, I okay. didn't do that. So, yung, yung part po na gagawin natin, action. So, kailangan natin gagawin yung kabilang side naman ng katawan. Okay? So, dito sa, sa right side and then sa other side naman ng katawan para mabalance po natin. So, tandaan natin kung saan yung nakabaluktot na ganito or nakaflex siya, so, ihilahin natin para ma-extend. Para po yung tight na muscles ay magiging loosen siya, malulu siya, okay? Hindi siya um, kakaroon ng really bad spasticity. Okay, okay guys, so this is my partner for uh, for today. This is Noelani. She's in third grade. Thank you for helping me, baby. Okay. Okay. Tell so, them why I was scared that to show my face. Why? Because I have, I need to wear sunglasses because the light is so bright. Yeah, she has a uh, eye sensitivity, so every time we, uh, she's exposed to light, so she needs to uh, wear a sunglasses. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video natin about sa cerebral palsy exercises. If you have any questions, post your comment below and then I will answer it as much as I can. Okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Oh, don't forget to uh, subscribe your channel too. What's your channel name? Noelani's World. Noelani's World. But she planned to change it into Gacha something. No, I'm hmm. gonna make a new channel. How are you gonna make a new channel? And name it. Gotcha world. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.